Hey guys, and welcome back to Cherry Blossom Corner. Today we're playing Tell Me Why. I don't know much about the story of this game, but I've heard really, really good things about it. So I've been really excited to play it for quite a long time now. So yeah, let's get into this. Tell Me Why is a story-based game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationships with other characters. I did not get to read the rest of that. <laughs> I'm so slow. Okay. Delos Crossing, Alaska, March 1st, 2005. Are you good? Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Is that me? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I don't know, Eddie. I... I went to show her my haircut. Oh. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... Whoa. So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Self-defense. Self-defense. Try to shoot your child over a haircut. Chapter one, homecoming. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. So 10 years later. that me 10 years later or is that me 10 years later twins I think that's like one of the things I heard about the stories that were twins I didn't read the whole note, I just, I saw the name Tyler. I think that's, it's us, Tyler. And our twin sister. Okay, first, oh, I play his I'm house. find the keys to the old house. And then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Okay. I need 
to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. A Journey Through the Stars, which is uh, how old him season one and two. Don't get rid of your DVDs. I love collecting DVDs. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Maybe. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. <laughs> Rocket. What are we looking at? Oh, oh gosh. In my desk drawer, maybe? Police Chief Brown asked Council to reconsider budget. Doc Strike to be in this week. Mayoral election candidate Tom Vecchi supports gun control money for local, local schools. Okay to do gifts itinerary snacks and drinks car keys house keys all set i think it's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years cute don't know who that is michael and tyler are so gonna hit it off <laughs> someone plays hockey I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Time and I against any two the shape yesterday, summertime sweet. Okay. Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? I think it's super cute. Welcome back. Okay. Looks like everything. My uh, desk drawer. No. I was trying no. to in my touch desk drawer, the maybe? Desk drawer. Oh, come on. No keys, but why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Oh. Allison and Bobby. Senior prom. He kind of looks like one of those. <laughs> Very. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look. I can see kind of why it ended. <laughs> oh, right. I stashed them down here. Oh, okay. Me found. Oh, what's that? A little... <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Little elf thing? Got keys. Wait, there's something else in there. Wait. No. All right. No. I'm ready to go now. Oh, man. That's a picture of... I don't know who... One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Not likely. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. <laughs> Sounds like me. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I mean, yeah, but... I could look at this artwork all day. So you're really into space. Not the prettiest mm -hmm. of my creations. But space she really cool. kind of looks like me in the morning. <laughs> I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. That's okay. We got over here. I can fix this. Bunch of tools. Tool closet. I think... That's everything besides, you know, the thing that I miss in the box. Okay. Let's get out of here.
There's Tyler. Do I get to play as Tyler now? She's gonna be so awkward. Dear Tyler, thank you. I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with the email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory, whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See, I was thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? Best they're going... I, I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can even save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the veggies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Aw, sweet. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Okay. Bunch of CDs. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. <laughs> Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. <laughs> I know most of these by heart at this point. <sighs> Wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Songs of Innocence, Shelter from the Flood, The Transgender Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity. Awesome. So it seems like Tyler was in juvie for stabbing his mom after they saw his haircut. Oh, uh, gonna miss these dum-dums. <laughs> That's... Oh, hey, it's a little guy. goblin. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. Okay. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Oh, that's a collectible. Okay. I did not know they were collectibles. Bye, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Celebrate, educate, unite. Trans Visibility March on June... March 31st, 2014. 5.30 p.m. to late. <laughs> you stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. <laughs> Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Fair, fair. Take me. This box of junk slash treasure is not yours. By the first law of finders keepers. <laughs> Okay, reminder to do your testosterone. 2015? Yeah, because it's 2015 now. Duh. Hey, Aaron. You know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk at redeemable youth. Haha, <laughs> good one. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. Try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. Awesome. Anything else in here? It doesn't really look like it. Oh, the window. Did I look the window yet? Man, I'm gonna miss that view. It is a nice view. This. Are we youth center student art to show it? Grindhouse. Tyler Ronan 20. Matches young something artists with favorite local venue Man, he's going places and hmm. i'll be able to say i helped him on his way hmm is there any way i can no that's someone else's problem now tutoring call dr beck meet aaron finish up work for escape and letter something for allison hmm. Oh, yeah. Seems like that's at the what's well, a skedaddle. Oh, 
Hopefully someone waters your plant. <laughs> She gets into a car accident. Just kidding. <laughs> That'd be so funny, but not really. <laughs> oh no, I thought it was cute. No. That's okay. It's, it might not be his style. That's okay. I'm sure he'll just be happy to see you. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi's a good place to start. <laughs> God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Oh, I get to choose? Um, the people. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. Good. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. <laughs> nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Achievement rear view mirror. Oh, the loading thing is the little goblin. No, really? Okay. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. Oh my god. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up, and there was the bear. Fat and happy on a literal <laughs> mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. <laughs> so then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Trophy hunting Higher bag stupid. limits, inhumane ground traps. Even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. Oh You'll no! Out what you want, you have time. I'm in that boat. I don't How know what I feeling? want. Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout, and my fog lights are dead.
Going back to the old house. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside <laughs> me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a oh, ditch. No. Hey, at least you missed the <laughs> porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't <laughs> wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean... Having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but <laughs> yeah. no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and yeah. that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and <laughs> helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new <laughs> owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Yeah. Anything else I can look at? If so, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. Mm -hmm. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Because you didn't visit her. An overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. You didn't visit her, cause you, uh, I don't know how far he was able to go, but Allison. Yeah. Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, oh. don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, oh, well, it wasn't. Fun. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Mm. Please. For me. 
He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. <gasps> Shoot. Can I do it for her? Uh. Fine. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Okay, good compromise. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Yes. Not Chief. 100%. Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Not likely. Did you hear that? What is it? Is it like a... Whoa. Oh! Well! There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. I get to explore. It's so weird being back on this boat. Yeah. You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. Want to draw on a pull tag up this way? You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? <laughs> I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots right here. If you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clinkit, Haida. I haven't been home in five years. Huh. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. <laughs> you may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Yeah, right. if they're not dead. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Gershwin, the pianist. Oh. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the past. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> what'd you say your name was? Tyler. Just get it out in the open. I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the... Ronan? Yes. Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. Thank you. Everything else fails for doing what the captain <laughs> suggested. Charming. Okay. What a waste of a good fun. Saboteur. Alaska sea lions. Oh, sea lions. <laughs> yeah. Do not enter. Oh. 
Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Allison, what a chore. Okay, let's see. Now open. Do drop in bed and breakfast. House is a walk-in freezer, space for deer and fish processing. Okay. Denali expeditions over the crown jewel of Alaska. Introduction to Making Devil's Club Tea, our way of life community and cultural programming sponsored by Huna Heritage Foundation. Learn how to harvest and process Devil's Club to make tea. 20 participants per class. Canoe for sale, strong and sturdy fiberglass. Transformer, $5. No bargaining. Oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know Allison said it. Dance performance. Um, dance group that celebrates ancestry, community, and tradition. I invite you to join us for invitational drumming, singing, and dancing. Come share and celebrate our culture. There's no substitute. Protect our only home. Under the sea. Tickets $10. Good. Winter, winter formal. Winter huh. formal? Fancy. Wait, wasn't that Allison's high school? Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, I think that's it. Hey, Allison, why are you ignoring me? Allison. 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 Allison, look me in the eyes. Fine. I'm outie. 4,000. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Well, it is yikes. Beer is my sport. Check my six pack. Okay. Are we supposed to get back in the car? All right, we're here. Shall we? Let's go. Back to the car, Roman. I'm already there. Cause you were ignoring me. Are we here? You good, Allison? I know this house is like trauma central, but... It fenced off. Oh, no, it's just like their gate. Okay. I was like, really? After 10 years, it's, it's fenced off? <laughs> Number 12. Looks like a average house. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. 
Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Yeah. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Mm. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. I guess so. But only do it if you're ready. Okay. After you. After me. Bye. I'm leaving. I'm out. Okay, I can't leave. <laughs> I want to go look over here. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. I'm just trying to reminisce. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. I can run now? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Hey, it's locked, all right. I'm looking. What was she doing out here that night? She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. Well, <laughs> at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. Yeah. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted homemade cleaning products Oops, maybe sorry. better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Yeah. Okay. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still <laughs> waiting for those bikes she promised us. Rude. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. I'm just looking. I figured it was gonna be locked. Locked. Well, it's a good thing um, I remember this. You have the keys, though. You sure that's the right key? Back door? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Kick down the door. Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Okay. Crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? <laughs> Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily, remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours.
I remember she made it a game at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. <laughs> I hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. No, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah, not happening a second time. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. I mean, are you really living life if you haven't gotten <laughs> a concussion or two? Mm, I think that's the brain injury talking. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Full of unique psychotic memories. Haunted, so you can live out your paranormal investigator fantasy. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. So there's that door right there, but there's a little, little shack here. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. <laughs> you really want to go yeah. out there? Uh, no, you're right. <laughs> I want to go out there. I want to walk across the ice. I bet you thick enough. I can take a few steps at least. Get out of my way. I've been banned. Little bench. Oh, looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting, enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Yeah. I can't believe how we used to run around for hours without stopping. <laughs> yeah. Always a troll to run away from. Or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together. Even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she? That night? It was... weird. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, it won't work. <laughs> no, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. At least we've got a few more years before we're... As old as her. Come on, that's enough rest for us. Let's get inside. All right. Okay. Oh, an achievement. We need to talk. What's that? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. <laughs> I'll try this door. No way. I can't believe it's still there. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? <laughs> How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. You need a hand with that? Mm. No, it Rip be it off. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. 
It screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. In the shed. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. The shed was At least the locked. shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. We already hey, it's discussed already. this. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. Ah. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? Hold space to focus on your bond. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. Oh, you get to see memories. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. Do we, we have twin feelings, superpowers? We never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. Twin superpowers. <laughs> okay. I did not know there were something like that in the game. Again. What's up? Near the barn. Near the barn? Yeah, me too. Where... Is this the barn? Ah. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room, then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Would it be that one? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Now we can get in here. What's that? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Oh, yeah, that's your lucky day, bird friends. Bird got seed. It. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Let's go feed the birds. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. You gonna show up, birds? Okay. All right, let's go and screw the boards. Nice. 
Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? You got a better idea? Everything okay down there? Tyler? <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. <laughs> All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. We got this. Superpowers. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I uh don't suppose you're dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Oh look. The mad hunter. Taking the gold. Not even in your dreams. We are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Goblin den treasure room. You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. Not even should a thousand years pass. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. But a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. Nothing wrong with pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Yeah. Is that a sled? Voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. Yeah. 
So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Okay. Wow. It doesn't seem real. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. The dryer never worked to begin with. Mm. dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> Let's, I want to look in this main room first. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved <laughs> having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. <laughs> well, keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. <laughs> 2005. Of course. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday <laughs> gifts. I think we can let that slide. What? You don't want me to buy you presents? You're gonna need your cash to get started. We've got a lifetime for gifts. Okay, but no presents from you either then. Deal. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She did that for a while. Ah, I was trying to look at that. Never mind. Go back. I love you, Mom. Me too, but don't write here. Right. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. Big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Rude. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. <sighs> Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. Yeah. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? <laughs> nah. I guess she was right about one thing, but you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She was always entering photography contests. I don't 
remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. Hmm. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Hey mom, we're sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try to use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell... Oh, what does that say? Ollie, not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. She pinched every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. <laughs> there you go in here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, this bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. There are so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Ew. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. <laughs> Why is the bathtub green? We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after <laughs> all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> we should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey. I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Okay. Upstairs it is. little fort area a little loft yo what are you doing down there what do you think i'm doing trying to figure out if anything in marianne's mess is worth keeping <laughs> any progress not really what about you what are you doing up there uh you know just plotting world domination Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Okay. Where'd you come from? A tale of two swords. Okay. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. <laughs> we even had to be our own pen pals. Aw. Hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyways, 
Janelle was super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. We got some books, but mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were lots of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water. Stupid. Anyway. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. <laughs> Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. <laughs> anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are, especially me. A and O. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. Mm. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. The I City thought. of Love. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. <laughs> I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're going to be an ass about it. Uh. Hey, buddy. It's been a long time. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Where's mine? Look, it's the game we made. Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. <laughs> Figure out who goes first with paper, rock, scissors, with silent voice. Roll the dice and move the number you roll. But pay to the tramway lady to climb up or down the mountain. Take the Luke to slide down the mountain. If you get one, you get to roll again. If you get a one, you get to pick a motor car to climb up the mountain with the Luke. If you roll a six, you become the Mad Hunter for two turns, safe from the shoot. If you roll a three, you become a bear for three turns, can't use tramway or lose in any directions. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. <laughs> Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest Ooh. the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Hmm. The Book of Go Goblins. The <laughs> Table of Contents. Okay. The, the frog earns the right to speak. Okay, so I'm not going to read all these out loud because I feel like that's going to take way too long. So if you want to read it, just pause to read. There's the Ice King.
Same. So uh, I guess their mom wrote a lot of those stories. In particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Eesh. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. Yeah. Wouldn't expect that from your own mother. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Okay. Well, then let's go find it. Her room is still locked. It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Oh. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! <laughs> Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. <laughs> Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word <laughs> fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, well, they're supposed to actually read it all. <laughs> I, I skimmed a little bit. <laughs> what are you looking for? The image on the door. It's Making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. Which one? You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Was it the one? Here it is. The one about the yeah. princess's party. Okay. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. 
Okay. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Do I have to like legitimately figure this out? Did I have to actually read these? Okay. That was what the princess party. Okay. So she had to guess the who gave what gift. So someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. Always see right from wrong. Make sure I'm protected if I'm ever under threat. Wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold. So the who are the princess's friends? So the three stories before this is the frog, the bear, and the beaver. So I think maybe the beaver. So the frog is probably the torch because the frog was all about, oh, no one ever gets lost. The bear is probably to defend because it protected me from a wolf or whatever the princess. And the beaver was helping build the house. Okay, so frog, bear, beaver. Okay. Okay. Frog, bear. Oh, wait. Is the oh? Uh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. So the beef is not on here. Oh, okay. Um, wait, I think this one's the pelican. Because they provided food and that was the never ending like bag of coins or whatever. And then... Let's just keep turning it until I get it. Oh, it was what? Moose, bear, pelican? Okay. <laughs> Why was it the moose? I'm not completely sure. And boom, we're in. this to feel more you know like a win yeah speak for yourself i'm the one who solved the riddle <laughs> why do i feel like you're not gonna let me forget that where do you think we should start looking i don't know where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. <laughs> What's the picture? She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Hmm. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Marianne liked it. 
Uh, sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I mean, yeah, that is a useful skill. Oh. It's here. I found it, but hold on. I want to look at everything else first because I keep missing crap. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. We're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, the princess. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I wonder why. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. Maybe you just let I them be who them. they are. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. This it really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Yeah. Doesn't I give her the it. right to do it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Raising your transgender child. What are the, it was like something alliance camp. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Raising your and something. So don't know what the Alliance camp is about, but for traditional Where families, did you find that? I think it's it on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler. Maybe someone here. gave it to her. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. Maybe her friend, uh, Essa, gave it to her or something. Me. I don't know. Or maybe she... There was something mentally, mentally going on with her. I, I don't know. She wasn't taking her meds. Whatever she was diagnosed with. Um, there's a lot of explanations for it. But I don't know. Doesn't excuse her actions at all. All 
right, that's actually a pretty good stopping place for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.